yeah we will see what's going to be happening here and uh well we have a position where black has equalized in terms of space but why has that extra move which is going to be something used to annoy black and there we see the pins begin bishops out to g5 and g4 Mm -hmm. It's quite funny because I have seen positions where white just simply takes control of the E line, puts a knight on E5 and just has a very, very nice position. And then we see Queen C7. There you go. Rook to E1. I remember watching uh, Mickey Adams play this position against uh, China in the Olympiad. And we thought it was nothing, but it was something in his hands. 42 seconds Definitely. for Ifan. Definitely in the hands of, uh, of Mickey Adams. Yeah, he's so good at uh, squeezing out the smallest advantages. All right, so let's see what we have here. The knight could not be parked on the e5 square as Polina controlled that square as well. So she put her knight on g5, also looks annoying. And now she comes in with the other knight, a5. I like that move by Polina. Uh, but yeah, very tense game here. If this game ends in a draw, we will go to an Armageddon. But we'll explain more to that about that if it comes uh, down to that. Yeah, and look, <laughs> I like the way that Paulina just copies Hoi Fan's plans. Both all the knights are doing the same job. Queen to d3. Queen d3, yeah, mirror chess. Uh, rook b8, maybe just rook b1, just keep copying the opponent. And uh, rook d1 instead was chosen. Mm hmm. And then <laughs> rook to d8. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it's difficult. Like, you got to make a move. Rook d2, that feels like a slight concession, as now you have to recapture with an eye. Rook e8, I guess, rook e2. Maybe rook e7 here. <laughs> Why not? Which is quite fun. Why not? Although, seven instead. hang on a second. This knight on That's g4 can be three, booted out. And, uh, uh oh, oh. It's... I think Yifan's got a slight advantage here. Knight d3, knight e5 is a big threat. Or actually not, because f7 is protected by the knight on h6, but knight c5 is a threat. H5 yeah, and, but you allow knight to e5. 15 seconds for Ho Yifan, Seven. and she goes king f1. No, no maybe now f6 is queen the six whole here? idea. Oh, I like queen e6, because then you get the knight on e6, and there's no queen around to police the knights. Now knight f7, black's holding on, g5 maybe? Mm-hmm. Okay, queen e6 now. All right, so take, take. But this very tense position. Like yeah. Six. Somehow I would this get knight on so, c seven. I was just going to say, I would get so fused here with all of the knights because you're wondering, like, which square is covered? Which square can I go to? Knight be oh, the d5 pawn is going to drop now. Yeah. Oh, oh, b2 is protected. Yeah, again, these knights are so tricky. <laughs> No, it's not an easy position because also you've got to be careful about knight takes p2 ideas. And uh, she drops the knight back to d6. But, c5 but, uh, maybe. Okay, maybe b3 yes. to break up the pawns. Yeah, I like it by how you fun. And she's in a prime position to win the game and win the match. Let's see if she can do it. She's okay. Keep that time on the More clock. Checks. Avoid the repetition. Gotta move. Yeah. You cannot let it come down to those final seconds. As you can always flag. Check, maybe? Mm, just three seconds, seven seconds for Polina. It's ticking down. And she trades off knights. Oh, I think that nice. makes life simpler for Ho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, for sure. I was going to say the same thing. Knight of six. Uh, knight h7, maybe? Yeah, there she goes. Great technique by Haifan. King takes. Taking the time, the time. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Oh, no, she lost. Oh, my goodness. Polina Shavalova wins the match. Ho Ifan loses on time in a winning position. Unbelievable turn of events there. And there you can see Polina Shavalova. She doesn't quite believe it. In the end, what a the heartbreaker for how you found. Oh, yeah, you, you kind of.